Hello everybody and welcome back to World War negative three or something. I don't I don't even know what world war this is, but it's a world war of sorts. So um, England is in a succession war with France and Russia. They want to be in a personal union with Russia and France is not okay with this. Also, neither are we. So the long awaited and long planned invasion of England is in progress. We'll see if that pans out. But I'm also very concerned about my border with Russia. I only have 33,000 troops there, and I'm not convinced that I can hold that without French or Tuscan aid. That's going to be a that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I mean, I'm I've got my own internal struggles and the battle for Brandenburg is going to be a, a constant thing as well. Um this is going to take me a while to to bring them into the fold. And they've got a lot of rebels that are showing up in droves, so... Yeah. So I'm likely to pause this a lot since I've got a two-and-a-half-ish front war with Vinland over here, my border with Russia, and my invasion of England. So this is going to potentially get hectic. So let's see how this goes. I need to mostly just defend on the Russian border. Also, I really hope that... Ooh, that's, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I see what's happening there. They were able to cross over there. I think I might win that. I did win. Excellent. Okay, so, let me check on the Russian front. Russia is indeed invading me with a very large force. Hopefully France comes over here. Oh, well, looks like they do have troops on the way. Good. Okay, this is going to be nasty. And realistically, if you want to be funneling money to me, that would be handy because I'm going to yeah. need it. That's not a problem. Um, let's see. We'll start with that. Excellent. And yeah, I have like... What is it? 9,000 ducks just piling up. I'm making 60 a month or so. Nice. Because yeah, it's going to cost me a lot to be fighting this war. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. This is this is fine. Well, I managed to snipe a thousand English troops. Okay. Can I take Perth? No, I cannot take Perth. Well, take Perth back. Oh, this is gonna get nasty. Yeah. England has so many troops here piling in. Yeah, it looks scary. Oh, rough. Yeah. Well, the big the the big news here is I'm keeping England busy. Theoretically, anyway. Okay, so Russia is still just sieging over here. Oh, there are so many Russians on this side. Savoy is on their way as is Tuscany, but I just, I don't know that it'll be enough. Oh, we do have a big French stack on the way as well. That's good. I need to not lose my army over there, for sure. France's navy is winning a small battle, so that's Yeah, good. that's good too. If France can actually invade England, that's going to be a huge deal. Okay. So I'm quasi-trapped over here, and I'm taking attrition. But I need to allow my morale to recover. If they want to attack me across the strait, that's fine. Yeah, this is pretty much all I can do is try to hold on to my toehold. The major thing- oh, France is actually sieging London right now. They managed to get across the channel. That's really big. That'll really change their course. 
Yeah. That's absolutely huge. It's really just a, a fear until Russia shows up, because they're in your territory now. Oh, I'm well aware. They've been there for a while. I'm waiting until... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see that Papal State, Lunenburg, Savoy, and France are all beginning an invasion of Russia. I'm just kind of holding off back here and letting them take land until my yeah. allies show up. That's what I'm seeing. That's kind of the goal over there. England is still Miltech 22, so that's good. However, they're in a holding position up here. They're keeping me boxed in. Which is fine, because London is about to fall. London just fell. Alright, there's a good chunk. Yep. Meanwhile, though, I'm losing so much. But France is here, too, now. So, this is good. I'm actually just going to sit back. Okay. England fell back. So now I'm going to push forward, see how much of Scotland I can take. England is trying to siege back their provinces over there, looks like, but Tuscany has landed in England as well, and France is now fighting back the Russians. Excellent. That 39k stack is a bit terrifying, though. I don't want to fight that. Okay, I'm going to take East March. Oh, Kara is calling me in into a fight against the Mamluks. Oh, that's exciting. Well, France has sent 12,000 troops to join me. That's nice of them, I suppose. But the bigger deal is that England backed off, and that allowed me to occupy Scotland. Just Hassa and the Mamluks are involved in this war. How much more manpower? England is out of manpower. You know, Georgia's actually gotten territory since they've been my subject. They're actually thriving now. Good for them. Yeah, hopefully they don't thrive too much, you know? Right. Oh man, England has so many troops. I did not want to go that route. There I wanted to retreat. Oh well. I can bloody them more. This is fine. And then just back off. Okay, so far so good. What's going on over on the Russian front? Looks like Russia has backed off. Excellent. And I want you guys to all group up over here so that hopefully they don't come this way. But England is completely out of manpower and is murking up. So that's a very, very good sign. They weren't expecting the, the Scandinavian backstab, I think. They should have been. Or the Spanish Inquisition, you know? <laughs> Indeed. But we're winning this war. Barely. But we're winning. I'm still the biggest ally on the British Isles, unfortunately. Oh boy, that's a huge stack. Retreat. 73k. I'm definitely going to force them to do a straight crossing into me. If I can get away with it. Looks like they're just going to siege back and take attrition. This is fine. Looks like we have naval control now, too. They definitely don't want to attack me up that direction. I remember what it was like to have manpower. Right? Me too. Oh, I can purchase an ability. 
Oh, hey, who just peaced out? Theodoro. Okay. That's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. I, I was wondering what I'm seeing these province troops out here for. It is kind of interesting f seeing France attack um, Russia. It is, isn't it? Not, not things I see every day. Indeed. Yeah, get out of here, England. That's right. I'll defend against your 26k stack. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now I'm going back onto my island. <laughs> Their 47k stack showed up. And another 22k. Yuck. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to get too much out of this, unfortunately. But I'm going to attack Moscow, or, well, Russia in general. Hmm. Okay, if they're backing off, I will spread back out. And not take as much attrition. That would sure be nice. Maybe I should go take Ireland. Like, realistically, maybe I should. Actually, I really like that plan. If I can get by their 64k stack. Which I can't. Run away! Oh boy. There are so many English troops here. But the good news is, I just have to keep them busy, and that's what I'm doing. They're being kept very busy indeed. <sighs> More rebels. Like, as long as they're running around recapturing what I capture, they're not, you know, attacking France or something. Although if I was them, I'd just go attack me in Orkney right now. They have a huge numbers advantage. When am I going to have a Miltech advantage? Not for a while. That's not good. Yeah, they're just trying to keep me bottled up right now. Well, it's basically on France to do this. Thank you. That will help a lot. I thought it would. It's kind of a joke what I'm dealing with over here. Indeed. I'll just, you know, invest that into making more money. There we go. It's gone. We've taken Jerusalem, which... Has been nice. France, are you planning on landing again? Because it's getting kind of lonely over here. In fact, so it's getting quite uh, lonely. We're actually an empire. Which might be fun to know. That is fun to know. There's a lot of Russians in my territory, and I don't like it. How much attrition am I actually taking here? 2.4%. Okay, well, winter's basically over. I can keep holding up there for a little bit. Okay, well... France doesn't want to give me territory, it looks like. Rude. Oh, they want to give me Kazan. And Ryazan. Uh, um, interesting. I'll pass on that, France. Not a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> the art of the deal. Meanwhile, though, I'm specifically not moving in England because they're, they've got 83,000 troops here who are just stuck in a loop. They keep moving, and then stopping, and then moving. I'm fine with that.
Hey, the Siege of Kazan is... Oh. We lost the Siege of Kazan. Okay. Holland wants military access, huh? I don't know about that, Holland. What is England at for manpower? Still zero. They're up to 44 mercs. So this is basically three quarters of their army right here. Plus another, I don't know, close to 10% here. So yeah, this is like 80% of their army is currently in Scotland. So England is not participating in this war. Russia is, interestingly, currently sieging in Savoy. <laughs> they must want out soon. Yeah, they're low war enthusiasm. This war is going to end soon-ish. The real question is, once France takes the personal union with England, are we going to start supporting England's liberty? That would be interesting. Because, I mean, I'd rather France out. have it than Russia, but I don't want France to have it either. Um, why did that... Oh, because he's in enemy territory. Okay. I gotcha. There we go. Now that's a general. I mean, 442. I, I misread that. I thought it was 662. Never mind. He's a mediocre general. Um, I don't know that I can win that. No, I can't win that. I need to get out ASAP. Retreat! Excellent. Well, I did some damage. Meanwhile, England is still just chilling up here in Scotland. This is fine. They're Miltech 22 still. That is very, very good. Once I hit Miltech 23, I might strike out and see if I can fight them a bit. I'm taking so much attrition in Orkney, though. Oh. Russia just peaced out. Nice. Like, France has taken... Wait, no, no who not. peaced out? Someone no, peaced out. Russia is still being taken. I misread that. Somebody peaced out, but it wasn't Russia. Oh, war's over. It was the Papal State, I think. No, yeah, Russia's... No, oh, okay. war is over. They white so, peaced. Yeah, interesting. So, England is, is still well. a junior partner of Russia, but they're at a really high liberty desire. I'm going to support their, um, support their independence if I can. Uh, they won't because they hate me. Okay, I'll try improving relations with them. I, I realize... Have a truth with Russia, I want I they will accept my support of independence. Okay. But I need to wait for the truce with Russia to end. Yeah. Okay. So oh. England is definitely going to fight for their independence. For there, sure. There's no way that that's not going to happen. With that personal union, Russia became the number two greatest power. I am the second largest military. Well, I was. Yeah, I still am. Second largest, third largest navy, second largest admin power. So, I mean, I am a beast. I will swing in a particular direction. And I'm not super terrified of the Russians with my current allies. Yeah. So... I'm very far in the hole in manpower. I need, like, 60 months to recover. But, um... 
realistically, I feel like that proved that the plan for invading England will work if we yeah. are prepared for it, because I was able to hold my territory against the entire English army, even though I was outnumbered roughly three to two. Yeah, and with my help, that gets a little easier. Yeah. Also, if we don't have to worry about Russia, but we'll always have to worry about Russia as long as that personal union is there. That said, England does really not like their personal union. <laughs> They're not fans. So, now that Austria is not the emperor, they might be more willing to do certain things. Indeed. Like attacking well they rivaled you but they might they, they like i don't have to worry so much like the planet they're not a big deal so if i were to pause for a second and take a look at silesia mm -hmm. so uh it would be the planet bavaria brunswick and frankfurt that's all who would defend them that's it that's the empire and i mean the palatinate has their empire bonuses but they're otherwise what three provinces yeah. No, yeah. Austria isn't even an elector. Oh, Austria just straight up left the HRE, or no? They didn't uh, leave no. the HRE, but they're not an elector. Yeah. Fascinating. I know, right? I am thinking, looking suggestively at Silesia... I have conquest stuff for them, so I'll... Mm hmm And Brandenburg will join in it, and they're huge. Indeed. I am going to go ahead and stop drilling so that I will be properly positioned for this. Well, keep in mind, I'm not really in a position to fight right now. Oh, I don't need your help for this. I figured. We'll, this this should be a walk in the park with Brandenburg, who's carrying their weight. I'm going to feel bad when they're no longer in this personal union with me. Well, then they'll just be part of the Commonwealth. Yep. And then we're going to attack the Empire and, and dismantle the HRE and, and that nonsense. That might be my next goal. So long as the Platinum is in charge. Like, I wonder, if I... So how do you... What does it say here for dismantling the HRE? Oh, I have to I think control you're... all the electors. Yeah. I think so. You no. have to control the electors and the capital of the current emperor's homeland. I mean, it's not that big of a war, but it could be. It depends on who I piss off enough, because, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Well, I am going to declare war on them once I have all this wrapped up with... Like, I, I'm gaining some manpower. My troops aren't as full as I would like. Um, but, yeah, I, I will plan on that being a thing. So I'm going to unpause. Okay. Do I have a CB? Oh, more. Well, actually, only the Platinate, Brunswick, and Memigrin would join. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's uh, let's go to war, shall we? Oh, my queen just died. Do I have an heir? I do have an heir. Okay. Oh no. And the Silesian army is in Brandenburg. Oh, <laughs> rip. Oh, well, boy. oh my. Oh my. That's not a good sign for them. Wait, Austria's in the war now? Uh-oh. 
Why is Austria in the war? Um, they weren't gonna join. Great power intervention? That's bogus. Oh boy. Hmm. Who else can you call in? Anybody? Other than Nobody. me? Nobody. Uh, that's bad. This just got... Oh no. Oh no. This just got very, very bad. Very, very quickly. Indeed. That's not good. Hmm. I'm fighting a 109,000 stack army. I noticed. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, here, have your territories. Leave me alone. Okay, well, that wasn't the end of the world. That was annoying, though. You're not wrong. But it's not well, the end of the world. Brandenburg is a little mad at that, I take it? Eh, oh, whoa, Georgia's free. That happened. Oh, okay. They, they liberated Georgia. Oh, okay, I am 100% fine with that. They didn't do me that much. Yeah, that's fine. But, on the other hand, that slaps forehead. I was doing so good for so long. Yeah. Oh, well. I thought I had an easy war, but Austria was like, nah, I want to get involved. Oh, boy. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it were for the silly power struggle between Austria. And now Austria and I, we're, we're, we're now hostile. We, we got bad blood. I imagine so. After yeah. that. Yep. Okay, well, it is time to put a cut in. So, also, I have an imperialism CB against everyone in the game, I think. Oh, whoa, really? <laughs> or something. It's a, a lot of people. But yeah, I think we should go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, I will continue trying to recover, and presumably, so will you. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. See you all next time.